we have a major sting operation. It targeted gang violence here on the Central Coast. Tonight, 16 people are behind bars. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live with our top story. Well, Dan, that sting operation targeted gang violence in the Santa Cruz and Watsonville areas. The youngest arrested, a 15 year old, wanted for hit and run. These are the faces of 16 people arrested during a sting operation that targeted parolees, drug dealers, and suspected gangsters in Santa Cruz County. All with the goal of disrupting and dismantling gang operations and gang activities. I think it's a good thing. Um, it makes the city safer. I like that. The crackdown carried out by more than 60 federal, state, and local agents who conducted parole searches and probation checks as a result of an uptick in violence around Santa Cruz and Watsonville. When we start seeing a, an increase in activity, we want to respond to it uh, very quickly um, and do what we can to get ahead of the curve so it doesn't turn into something that, uh, that becomes, uh, you know, very, uh, very very much a threat to the communities. During the sweep, one handgun and two knives were confiscated. Those arrested charged with a variety of crimes, making death threats, robbery, drug possession, and outstanding warrants. The youngest arrested, a 15-year-old out of Watsonville, wanted for hit and run. They're going to be off the streets, and it'll be a safer community, no matter what. So I do appreciate that extra, the extra effort that they're doing. That sting operation also led to an additional 15 people being cited on various misdemeanor charges. Dan, Aaron. All right, thank you very much, Felix. The sting operation was coordinated by the Santa Cruz County Anti Crime Team. It involved law enforcement from throughout the county. Come out with your hands up. Come out to the Chestnut Street side. Police set up a perimeter around a home on Chestnut and Pajaro. They were trying to arrest a man who was responsible for a carjacking. Police say the victim of the carjacking was meeting a prostitute at a hotel when he was robbed by three people. The victim flagged down another car for help and was able to follow the driver back to the house. He then called police. After several hours, officers made it into the house, but the suspect was no longer there. He remains at large tonight.